most expensive signings five years ago. Let's get into this. Take me to that place called Wonderland. Take me to that place where pandas stand. Hey guys, Finya, that is F Y double N. And before I get into this, just want to say if you like any of the music, go check out the music in the description below. It is by Oriti Le. So. Yeah, otherwise check my Facebook, my Instagram, and yeah, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing is very important and it helps me out quite a lot, so please make sure you do that. And yeah, let's get straight into this. Okay, so these are going to be players that still do play for Manchester United, just so that it doesn't end up being like a Rio Ferdinand who doesn't play anymore. Okay, so five years ago, our fifth most expensive signing was Juan Mata. Which, um, okay, I'll talk about the problem in a second, but five years ago, he was pretty much Chelsea's golden boy. He was one of their best players. Uh, he was, yeah, by far, they, they really thought of him as what, probably the most valuable player. I think Chelsea play of the year quite a few times. But yeah, we got him for 40.26 million pounds. So I think that's actually a really good bargain for the kind of player that he is considering the... Uh, the other players that do go ahead of him on this list, which you can compare by yourself. But uh, our main problem is we've tossed him to the side. We use him as a bench player, as a sub. I tried so hard and got so far. which I think is a huge mistake because uh, obviously the Spanish player should not be on the bench. I think he's definitely a player that should start. He shouldn't have gone from Chelsea's hero to our bench. I think that's a huge mistake from us and we need to fix that immediately. Okay, fourth place is Fred who came from Shakhtar in uh, what I believe. So of course winning the Ukrainian league almost every year that he was there, which I mean I can't say if that's an achievement or not because you know I don't know if that's a big league, I don't think so. But yeah, we got Fred for 53.1 million um, pounds. So I mean, would you say he's more valuable than Mata? No, not at all. And he only scores about one in every 10 games if you look at his stats. Um, which overall isn't the best, isn't the greatest. Um, I think it was a very odd signing for us to get him. As I said, I think we do need defenders. That is our problem. Uh, we've got too many people up front, okay? Third place is going to be Martial, who we got from Monaco, obviously, for 54 million, okay? Now, if we look at Martial, is he a player that was worth 54 million when we got him? No, he wasn't. At Monaco, I don't think he was worth that 54. Okay, he has his time when he can score very valuable goals. But as an attacker in general, he doesn't have the best stats. Okay, he's played just over 100 games for Manchester United, and I think he's just scored over like 30 which isn't necessarily the signs of a world-class striker. Sure, he's, he is getting better, and I have to say he is becoming more of his value now than it, what it was then. But yo, you can always put your opinion down in the comments below. We'd love to see your opinions on that. Okay, second, Lukaku. Okay, Lukaku was at Everton. Um, I think he was at loan at Everton and then he made his official move to Everton. And we got him for 76.23 million. And I think in that season he scored 15 goals for Everton, which isn't bad considering you look at the stats he's doing now, which it looks like he's on the road to get something like that. But under Solskjaer, you never know. But it's quite funny looking at him then. For some reason, he looks like an odd version of Whoopi Goldberg. I I don't know, you can tell me what you feel about that in the comments as well. Okay, now our most expensive has to be Pogba, okay? Um, Pogba obviously at Juventus, getting team of the seasons, team of the years every every year there and I think he was a world class player there and he's on his way to get that now. We bought him for 94.5 million pounds, okay? So as I said, obviously world class there, getting on his way now. But yeah, otherwise if there's any other kind of video you want me to make, I thought I'd make a Manchester United themed video just because I haven't done that in a while. But anything else, just put in the comments below, share your opinions, and as I said, check out everything in the description below, comment, share, likes, Alice, and yeah, cheers. Mm.